So but being sued by Keanu Reeves was something that technically we didn't use. I, I wanted by the right. I wanted by the, the rights. rights to his penis. <laughs> there's a code for the episode. Keanu Reeves has a rights to his penis. You're getting the tattoos. I'll be screaming in the corner. Well, so I get one of those like slip-on tattoo sleeves, and I change it each week. Change which arm? So, and if anyone asks, uh, oh, looks like you got a tattoo on the other arm. Yeah, I didn't like on that arm, so I went to a place. They lasered it off. No, what they did is they got some really sticky tape, got it on there, took it off. But because it's still on the other side of tape, I, they got them to put on my other arm. Now it's time for the plot. There's a plot. Apparently, there's a plot. I have forwarded the directions to your map. I'm busy, so hurry up. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the casual, gotcha. just, yep. Just found in the middle of the chatting beds. Well, remember last time she was trying on clothes and said she was going to spray personal on every part of her body. Yeah, my worry is that... She couldn't see that... properly oh, for three days afterwards. Fuck, I kicked over the c No, my worry is that, um, Valen will be affected by the radiation from the tanning beds. <laughs> Guys, I'm glad we got to the bottom of that. <laughs> now remember, uh, because she sprayed perfume, lots of perfume delivery on her eyes, and then when she tried to wash out, she accidentally used the Maximum Tears shampoo, not the no, uh, yes. no, the Maximum Tears. She couldn't see probably for three days. So let's take a look at mini game real quick, because um, you remember how the jobs were in the other game? It's just contracts for the jobs, wasn't it? Yeah, they, they completely changed it, and this one so it's like parodies of old Nintendo games. I've literally never played any of them except for board catching, because like... All you need is three good rounds of bug catching, and then you're basically maxed. Finest mini game. Honestly, that reminds me of that old Tom and Jerry game that you used to get on Sky One. Do you remember that, the red button? I remember the games and things. I never played them. Oh, bit of shit. Then they're usually pretty straightforward, uh, like puzzle games and. Thing. Like uh, bubble blast and things. You, you got you got like really weird licensed ones occasionally. Yeah, Tom and Jerry was on the main ones though. That must have been the late two thousands. Mm. So are the rats the size of bugs, or are the bugs the size of rats? They're just giant mutant rats. It's fine, professional exterminator. I'm not concerned with the size of the rats. I'm concerned with the size of the bugs. Somebody saw a cockroach up on twelve. That's gotta be some cockroach. Travis just cleans the kitchen up with a fucking nuke. We see him with a lead suit and say, What are you doing? I'm cleaning the kitchen. Is that a bomb? Yes. What are you gonna do with that? I'm gonna use it to clean the kitchen. Oh. Is that safe? <laughs> not for the bugs, is it? <laughs> what about humans? Uh, probably not idea to go into your kitchen for a while to let radiation die down. Radiation? How long do you have to wait? Then get our calculator. Um, 500 years should be, should be good. 500 years? I have to close it for that long? Yeah. Probably 600 to be on the safe side. It turns out that Gordon Ramsay's having this conversation with. Uh, have you seen the one where it's like the, uh, there's a just pigeon flying around the kitchen? Yes, that pigeon's the freshest thing in here. Yes. So I need, I need, like, we need more cash so I can buy the final katana. You can buy it this early? Yes. It gets bigger. Well, you <laughs> get, like, several swords. Yes. It gets bigger the higher your ecstasy gauges. Is it just like real life? Yeah. Do my ecstasy, it gets bigger. Uh, <laughs> sounds like you've had a fun time at the Vegas sweatshop. Yeah, you know, in these sweatshops, they can't really afford to pay their uh, slaves. <laughs> but on like a f uh, when ecstasy. the company's doing well, they have an ecstasy day. They give everyone ecstasy. So working for a couple of hours, then they realise, <laughs> hang on, I can't feel my fingers or my face. Or my eyeballs. No, that's... I can feel my eyeballs. It's the only things I can feel. And they feel weird. That's when you get like, that's when you get odds. That's when you like, you get you unpack your shoes and you have like one sandal in there. What? You find a sandal in your shoe? You yeah. Like, unpack your shoes. Oh, what? oh, you mean like when the packaging shoes? Uh, yeah. Accidentally slipping like a sandal, and so people no no like like have you... to wear one like normal shoe, one sandal. But here's the main question: Did they wear a sock with that sandal? I was trying to imply that they had like like. They were trying to buy Gucci, but accidentally ended up with a single sandal. Because it was just packaged that shittily. Come on, you fucker, get in the vacuum. Packages that shittily, but there's only one sandal in there. Yeah. Like, because they were trying to package Gucci shoes while in ecstasy, so they accidentally packed a sandal thinking it Why was... Why they even gangly sandals? 
I don't know. They gave it the product and the box. It's a what, so it's a, aha, no, I guess grow the company. Okay. And like Andy Dufresne style gets like a sandal from their back and puts it in instead. I feel like I need to explain my chain of thought. Here. You think? Okay. What I'm imagining here is like it's the fucking conveyor belt scene from I Love Lucy, but with shoes. Hang on a second, let me just, like, put scorpions in this vacuum cleaner, and then this is turning into a jackass prank. We're a jackass, and we're going to try and vacuum scorpions. I'm pretty sure they've fucking done that, though. Okay, wasn't there one where they, like, took the floor out of a room and filled it with a snake pit or some shit? No, so the one I remember is the Electric Avenue one. And there's um, this the always classic jackass stunt as well, Pukasapult. Don't forget that one. Yep. Just stay calm and enjoy your shit. To be fair, that's probably what the uh, Activision devs said to people complained about Destiny. Yeah. I don't understand how you fuck up a game that much when your budget's bigger than the deficit of a football country. Right. Is it Bobby Cotter who's the CEO of Activision? I or don't know. Or is that Blizzard? Or is that one of the other, uh, EA? I have no fucking clue anymore. Okay, was it Activision that was abusing the staff, or was that Ubisoft? Like, I'm like, both, there's so point. many fucking controversies, Sam, I can't even keep up anymore. Like, it's a genuine problem, though. Like, I mean, not imagine if a company wants to come to you to make, well, it blinks a time sweeper. You have to, look like, hire an office for the day, because they want to set up a meeting. Oh shit, they want to set up a meeting. Where can I rent an office for the chief? Well, and then you go in there, with, like, a, a suit, and it's just completely empty... Apart from, like, your desk, it's like, so, you want to make a game with this? And, uh, like, the game studio's like, uh, yeah, sure. And it's like a small team. So, <laughs> so uh, what's your price? It's like, mm, you get a, like, calculator, and you're wearing just boobies on it. Hmm. According to my calculations, um, hmm, you're going to have to pay us quite the rate for the rights to use this game. Honest, honestly, I imagine we go the other way, like, instead of renting an office, we just get, like, a green screen and hold the off the meeting via Zoom call. Like, the meeting gets disrupted partway through because they wonder why we've suddenly got, ended up on a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you're wearing a suit say, thank you for your time, and you stand up. <laughs> what is it? It's not that I'm concerned you're not wearing trousers with your suit. It's that I'm concerned you're not wearing underwear either. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> it's fine, I just have like a very large sensor bar. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, and I make that in real time. <laughs> Due to new, like, uh, AI uh, deep learning algorithms, yeah. it's able to move the sensor bar and modify it to always cover your <laughs> It's the finest deep fake. Well, then this deep fake is to, well, deep fake would be changing your <laughs> to modify it to an even bigger Yo. thick Yeah, no, no, I, I deep fake my <laughs> so it looks like Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be done for copyright because then algorithm was like, hang on, why is it uh Keanu Reeves? <laughs> so Keanu Reeves would sue us uh, because it detected his and that's a deep fake. I was genuinely about to say And that's all for a Zoom meeting about a game where you for some reason bought them right. <laughs> I wanna so buy So being sued by Keanu Reeves was something that technically we didn't use. I, I wanted by the right I wanted by the, the right. He has the rights to his penis. <laughs> and there's a code for the episode, Keanu Reeves has a right to his penis. I want to buy the rights to small games that aren't remembered anymore, like Captain Blasto. Like, uh, so oh, Sam. I genuinely thought, I, I was genuinely about to say how the fuck does Keanu Reeves know it's so his, fancy. but no, he'd know it is his penis. The like, what the fuck? I think he'd know. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine how fucking weird it would be if Keanu Reeves somehow made it this far in life and never looked at his penis? Charlie and his groupies. Groupies? What's that supposed to be? Thanks. There's the fucking... No, no, come... <laughs> No, I think it's the other way. He's not just he's good, but he's able to just pick it up and look at it eye level and just, ah, oh, right. So that's what it looks like. Oh, and he's able to do this while flashing. Once it gets right, it gets bigger. <laughs> it turns out that Keanu Reeves can, like, in an emergency, he can use his penis as a map of New York. Oh, you think he asked, can you tattoo New York City onto my dick? 
Uh, Mr. Reeves, no, we can't. No, no, no. He just concentrates really hard and the blood vessels rearrange. And what? So he causes, like, uh, blood vessels to burst in a specific <laughs> pattern to map out, the, what, the New York subway? Yeah. He should... like, oh, no, I'm lost. I don't know why I'm in the New York subway. But I unzip my pants and... Like, uh... Sam, too far down. But what would you do? Because... Like, you find somewhere secluded before you start looking at your map penis. <laughs> this is, this might be one of Eric Andre's subway sketches. <laughs> Just someone dressed as Keanu Reeves saying, sorry, I need to check my map. And look at the fucking dick. <laughs> he opens, he unzips his pants, but pulls out an apple blackberry. Oh, fuck's sake. Ladies and gentlemen, I did not get the job at Nokia. Drink from me. Not just it, like one of the finest fucking Eric Andre sketches, though, please. Because everyone is terrified. Drink from me. That sketch is set up so fucking weirdly because it does just look like a low budget horror film. <laughs> ah, hired goons. They appear to have had tree huggers' cousins. Yes. Uh, and the worst part is, like, we still don't know who's on the new Animal Assassins League, given that they've got 51 now. No, this is the human one. Animal Assassins League is completely different. They didn't suffer the same mix-up. True. They didn't have a new one created by the pizza. Marlon Brando is still on the Animals League, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, rest in peace, palm trees, Paul. Well, who killed him? <laughs> Marlon Brando, he ate my accident, remember? Oh. I thought he would have survived that uh, attempt. God. That's right, we still need to figure out what the fuck happened with Spider's Tony after he was wandering America. Well, he escaped deportation and was in hiding, wasn't he? Yeah. Have you got your wedding invitation yet, by the way? No. Okay. It's pretty hard. They get us that you're invited to a wedding, but they can't give any details because it might lead them back to where he is. So, uh, please well, attend a wedding for my daughter at a location you know where in <laughs> state um, well, East no. Coast. Well, no, it'll be West Coast, wouldn't it? Uh, West Coast location, the church, you know where. Um, time of day, you know when. No, no, it's fine. Spider's Tony sent his wedding invitations by Carrier Shrew. Shrew? Yeah. It's much better than the Carrier Vole. Anyway. Yeah, I'll... What, so it's Mr. Resetti's cousin. They're just like, you got mail. What? Oh, right. It sounds like... <laughs> I'll have to um, forward you that invitation later then. What? So you got yours? Yeah. I told you, like, me, me and Spazer's Tony are tight. <laughs> Ever since we helped him get off that charge. And you decided to do prison time for him, even though you had been released. <laughs> yeah, Sam, I really wanted that invite to the wedding. Like, this is my chance to... What, hit it off with <laughs> one of his other daughters? That'd be very rude trying to hit one's other doors at the wedding. No, I'm an arachnophobe. I'm just going because I own one. Oh, you're one of those people, are you? <laughs> oh, spider life matters, some. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and some spider phobe is going to go to their wedding? It's just going to cause a scene? Uh, uh, better off not going. Charlie has <laughs> oh, hang on, tell me more. Their hands and knees. A natural born playboy. He's a celebrity of sorts. Even I caught myself checking him out. Just it's nice to know that Sylvia's got the Beetlejuice gloves on. Okay, Early let's roleplay. You'll be Tommy Rousseau, and, and my hand will be a sandworm. That when <laughs> it's a warning sign. That would make <laughs> the best fucking hand job you've ever had. So who's giving the hand job? Well, obviously Sylvia with the glove on. Well, so there's a little thing under her desk so she can't see it. So, all right. And, like, opens a slot and there has the thing. Like yeah. Like sock puppet of a worm saying, oh, all right, you've given me a lot uh, of material, you know, or your mug thing. So let me do something so, to you. Sorry, she's giving the hand job to Nicardo Avocado? No, he's in the other room. He's, she, she's giving it to Travis. Okay. I'm just checking. Because remember, um, Travis went in there. He grabbed a Wendy's burger and was eating it. I just want to make sure that she's not too timing on him with Ricardo Avocado. Well, you think she's in the special room, so she's listening to both. If, she, if she's holding one phone with one hand, phoning out to him with one hand, which hand is Honestly, you're... No, like, it's someone else who's with Mick Avocado. He, uh, he demands a one-on-one -on -one session. I love the fact that the guy in the background is actually just doing a mock bang. Like, you saw him eating that pizza, right? No. 
Okay, well, next time one crops off, I'll put you out too. I am not paying the bill for that gym equipment. This does not look like an okay game music video. Yeah, the one, the one with the treadmills? <laughs> yes. Fuck that in particular. Or, you know, that one episode of JoJo, what is it, The Run? Fuck, this man's accidentally become the god of muscles. Ah! <laughs> is he on the assassin tier list? Yes, we're about to fight him now. Oh god. So, here's how they jump you from 49, from 50 to 24. They're all the assassins. So they don't share a combined space? No, no, all the cheerleaders hold slots on the lazy boys. This is one of the best fucking jokes in this game. And they're all, like, basically clones of each other. Yep. I love this guy's intro line, though. Jordan and Iraqi's original art style. After this, I'm gonna touch you down. What? It's a football pun, a but also a hand job pun. Especially oh, you. Sorry. After I'm done, I'm gonna make a tent to all of you. Touchdown! <laughs> it's an honor to face you, man. I love your name. You gonna fight me with all your hoes? That's my game. But we need a better arena, don't you think? You think this should be a football uh, themed boss ladies. fight, but no. Santa no, Iraqi just goes full LSD trip. <laughs> Not Iraqi, Suda 5 1. Fuck, I wish this was Iraqi. What, Iraqi <laughs> actually made this game, but he forgot? <laughs> I love just took credit. Iraqi actually made this game. Bet you didn't see this shit coming. Gurren Lagan? Yes. It's funny because it's the voice actor for Seymour as well. I, I remember you telling me at one point. Time to bust out the toy Naomi made. Making his long awaited debut. Glastonbury. Let's pop. It just casually that Australian's house from the last game. Oh, they still haven't cleaned the stained grate or something cool. No, he was never there, remember? He escaped with the money. True. Out of the zoo. He's been living it up. He's been chilling, <laughs> retired to the Coral Reef, I think. That's what I heard about him. Oh, we still need to get vengeance for Steve Irwin, though. Well, you want to go up against um, the being who managed to kill Steve Irwin. I want to go up against Steve. Well, we're going to go in there with diving equipment. Just with knuckles, I say, oh, you. i got some beef for you. I say, hey, do you mind? I'm retired. And we're going to try and box it. Oh, he's, he's retired. Sorry, okay, he's retired. No, I can't. I can't beat up on a retired man. That's all after I'm... making enough money after killing Steve Irwin, he's made enough money. He can just retire. That and uh, he can't really get any contacts anymore because people are a bit salty about of all the people Steve Irwin. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Giant robot fight. What funds and birds are going some? Oh my god, that's a brilliant idea. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out right. What if Thunderbirds reboot put done by Suda 5-1? <laughs> like, you know that meme about, um... Fuck, who was it that did, who was it that did the battle movie again? The what? Christopher Nolan, that was it? Yeah. You know that meme about, like, Christopher Nolan and Michael Bay doing gritty reboots of stuff? <laughs> Just like... Wait, Michael Bay does gritty re reboots? Transformers. Oh, yeah, I suppose. You know, you know the meme about them doing gritty reboots, though? Like, just that, but, um, Suda 5 1 Thunderbirds gritty reboot? That would work as well. I remember there was a live action film a few years back. Yeah, but it sucked. No, even about Captain Scarlet. You remember Captain Scarlet, the other one that was done by the same people? Uh, that one where he's immortal because of the Master Runs. I watched maybe one or two episodes years and years ago. You vaguely remember though. Like that would work. Like that like that would work as a Suda 5 1 plot. Just because of the weird immortality and the aliens from fucking Mars. Cause isn't it you never actually see what the mysterious are? Yeah, but it's the thing with the, with the big green rings though. This is the voice of the Mr. Runs. We know that you can hear us, Earth Men. Suda 5 1, call us. Let's team up and buy the rights to Captain well, Scarlet. Uh, well, let's go into <laughs> Wainsville territory. So, hang on. Suda 51, 
what we'll do is we'll first buy the rights. Then why don't you come with us and we'll be interested in the deal. <laughs> no, Suda51, team all of us and buy the rights. We can write this crazy Captain Scarlet reboot. Why has it got little ropes between his knees? I have no fucking clue. Stability? And also, he casually has a mech capable of going to space. Yeah. Really? What, what else did you expect from this game, Sam? Uh, not to jump the shark? Oh, it hasn't jumped the shark. Just wait. He has a casually just has a fucking mech. It's fine. It gets confiscated. Besides, we haven't even got to the haunted video game console yet that gives him free weed. I thought that was the third game. Yeah. Feels good. Quick and dirty's my style. Gotta admit though, this does have a bad aftertaste. Ripping through a bunch of mostly harmless cheerleaders. Well, I could nullify your victory. Whoa, whoa, wait! I mean, I mean, they weren't that harmless. You can tear some shit It's up funny because this game predates Lollipop Chainsaw. Really? Yep. <laughs> I love the fact that that's what she picks him up, not you just destroyed half the city, just it's a public nuisance. It's blocking the view of the ghost. Don't forget you are not the only assassin clawing up the ranks. Being 25th means there are just as many below as a I feel like that was a missed opportunity with this game because you never actually see any of the assassins lower than him that supposedly exist. I mean, except for, like, one that's not on the rankings leaderboards. Like, it'd just be weird if they did, like, it'd be, it'd be, like, it'd be a neat mechanic if they did another game where, like, occasionally you have to fend off, like, a challenger from below. Yeah, they could do it almost like, um, not quite the system in Shadow of War, but when you're doing side quests, there's a chance that one of these pretenders will just uh, have a go in, so you have to just fight them then there. Yeah. And the higher your level, like when you get closer to one, the more frequent they are. Is it um, Shadow of War that has that that has that mimetic character where he's voiced by um, Dwight Schultz? That one I showed you where he has the same voice as the guy from Chowder? It's not the same character, he voices different characters. My point is, like, but he gives them all the same fucking voice, so it might yes. as well be. So cannot be stopped. Your brother's here dead and butchered. Your legend rivals mine. You'll fall for just about any trick. Why aren't you? Travis, it's me. Your next fight is arranged. You know what to do, yes? You know what to do, yes? I'm gonna go Wendy's. Sir, please stop <laughs> from the middle of the road. No, no, no. He's not banned from Wendy's because he uh, he only does it in Burger King. He's not banned from Wendy's. He's still jacked <laughs> though, though. No, why do you want to? It doesn't hit right. No, for the best experience, he goes to Burger King with his king body pillow so he can in front of the king. Yeah, but, like yeah, but at Wendy's you can have it your way. No, that's Burger King. <laughs> I love the fact that we can not, like, I can never get this fucking slogan right. That's why he does it. Okay. In the end he was banned and that's why at the end of film, he's like, sorry, I had to go grab a quick Wendy's. So, and I, so in this chill. thing, well, well, she's describing what's happened. I was like, oh, oh your sounds are mugman got me so horny. Hey, let me put on my, uh, my puppet sock. Of one of the worms from the fucking uh, from the fucking Dune films. No, no, Beetlejuice, just, Beetlejuice, because uh, Beetlejuice, <laughs> and I'll just give you a hand job, even though I can't see you. Yeah, yeah. So she just casually gives him a hand job, and she uh, he never realizes who you are. So he's still eating the Wendy's. That's that's. And then after he, uh, after that happens, he's like, oh, feel better now. Let me continue with my story. That's you're still eating the Wendy's, right? <laughs> oh, you you're now starting on the fries. Oh, yes. That's, that's it. Yeah, I, just help me with the story. She just gives him a fucking hand job, but never knows. I he's love a, the idea. We have a sock puppet of the fucking worms from I lo Beetlejuice. I love the idea that Sylvie is just turned on by Mockbank. No, I was going to say you've given me, like, like the weirdest fucking porno idea, though. Just like. <laughs> you think? On that note, I think this is a good place to end this episode here. What the fuck are we going to call this one? I don't know, but it's going to be fucking beautiful. Gurren Logan Mockbank leads to. Inappropriate Wendy's behavior. Robotic mockbang leads to illicit football videos. I don't fucking know. So, do you remember those Burger King adverts where the guy goes to the pole dancing club and then, like, like the curtain pulls back and it's just the Burger King trying to give him a sandwich? No. Okay, I have to show you that fucking advert after this. Engineer, put the clip in. That's how we're ending this episode. <laughs> Bacon 
cheese. One of three triple burgers for just £1.99 from a very generous king. <sighs> oh well, guess I'm just gonna have to jack off at home like Norman. <laughs> Goodbye. Good night, everybody. <laughs>